We're here at PDOC 2016 and I'm being joined by the Vice President of Technical Services for Sandstorm Gold. He has 35 years of global mining experience specializing in resource evaluation. He's visited over 200 countries and hundreds of mining projects to determine if there's value in the ground. And prior to joining Sandstorm, he was the Principal Mining Specialist at the International Finance Committee based in Washington, D.C. Without further ado, Keith Laskowski. Uh, good morning, Andrew. How good are morning. you? Glad uh, to be here with you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I might st start on the wrong foot, but uh, 60 countries, not 60, 200. Okay, <laughs> 60 countries, that's fine. Full disclosure. So I first want to start off, you've worked for some of the biggest mining companies and funds in the world. You've also founded your own companies. So I, I wanted to ask you, what was the exceptional opportunity you saw when first joining Sandstorm about a year ago? Well, Sandstorm, uh, it wasn't a... a a decision I took lightly. I, I, I studied it for quite a while mainly because I, I knew the people that were there and I was studying the concept but Sandstorm provides me an opportunity to do what I, I think I do best which is mainly precious metal exploration and resource evaluation but I think the most important decision for me was that I, I felt the markets had been at a very low level. The price of gold had deteriorated uh, significantly um, post 2011 and I just felt like it, the markets were going to come back and Sandstorm offered me an opportunity to uh, benefit from the financial recovery of the market. So Fantastic. And I think it, uh, it offers the same for investors as well. So, Absolutely. So having worked on so many mining projects and looked at so many over the course of your career, what are some of the basic preliminary steps you take when you're doing your due diligence? Well, the due diligence is a... Is a it's a hard thing to describe to people, um, but um, to me it really boils down to the, the simple steps. Uh, take a look at the project. Does it make sense? Is it being operated by good people? Is it in a reasonable jurisdiction? Um, and then, then, it gets then it gets rather complicated and have to look carefully at the metallurgy and, um, and it takes time. Due diligence takes time. and. Uh, you can't rush through it, so uh, we try to do a very careful job. And but really, start with the obvious things. You know, what, what would some of the obvious things be? Well, um, I'm really not sure how to answer that because right. to a geologist, uh, most simple thing is complicated. But bottom line is we like um, obviously we like high grades. In the case of gold. The metallurgy is the key issue though. Metallurgy is the, the single most important factor that determines the value you can extract from the rock. And metallurgy is very easy to, uh, to ignore um, because of its complexity. Um, but, uh, and then, you know, the geometry is very important. Uh, all right. so they're kind of boring, but necessary. We love it. We all love it, <laughs> especially myself. So we were back in your office last week just talking about briefly the recent tech transaction that Sandstorm did where they acquired 55 royalties for $22 million. And you're telling me there is it was a quite big transaction. And I want to hear about the kind of due diligence that was required on your part when doing that deal. Well, I report to Tom Brewington. Uh, he's the senior vice president in charge of project evaluation. And um, so he led the team. We had a very, everyone in the office was involved. Uh, but we, we essentially do two different due diligences. We do a financial due diligence and then a technical due diligence. And, um, and what the process with so many properties, so many different countries, so many different deal terms, uh, it took a great deal of effort, but you had to first start by prioritizing uh, which projects seem to have the most potential. And that was based mainly on the commodity and the country selection and then we and in, in many of the cases there was very little data available so it took a, uh, you know, a lot of research to go out and hunt down some news on these things. So uh, the combination of uh, both uh, financial and technical due, dil due diligence, the multiple countries, uh, we started with like 10 priority projects and then expanded around those and uh, it was really quite a fun project actually but it was complicated uh, i'm sure it was uh, and we're we're, we're very um, pleased that uh, we were able to complete the uh, the evaluation and the acquisition so we're we're, we're grateful to tech um, excellent so one of the royalties in that deal was mariana resources hot madden project which was probably the most discussed discovery in 2015 
So after you reviewed the exploration project, what was your interpretation of the geology and potential value the project might hold? Yeah, Hot Modern is a very interesting project. And um, for me, it's, it's something I've seen three or four times in my life. Wow. When, when something like this comes along, it's unrecognized at the beginning. And it's very early right now. I mean, um, they've only, they only drilled the discovery hole last year. But, but when you see, I mean, <laughs> affect, affectionately, we say it had eye-watering grades. The, the combined copper and gold grades on the deposit, they're, they're hard to believe. But after Truly carefully is. reviewing the results, they, they are there. And Mariana's done a good job with the first phase of drilling. But what, what you see here, and it's hard to communicate, is that they've the company has only drilled a small portion of the system. The system extends for at least six kilometers further to the north, has not been explored. Um, and, and what oftentimes happens in a discovery like this is the story is going to evolve, it's going to change. It's, you know, and in this case, I think it's going to change for the better. It's going to get bigger. Um, we don't know exactly how it's going to get bigger, or where it's going to get bigger, but it's we're in a situation where there's so much upside potential that it's uh, it's just really exciting. So, That's very encouraging. Yeah, like the sounds of that. No, it's it's a, it's a unique property. So I want to wrap this up by asking you, since you've been doing this for the majority of your career, evaluating resource projects, it's quite a technical process and quite complex at times. So for the resource investors that are viewing this, what kind of advice can you give them on how they can do a much simplified version of what you do? Well, there are three or four important things that, um, that should be looked at. And uh, you can hear the same story from uh, many of the other professionals in the business. But bottom line is you, you've got to be working with people you can trust. Um, yes. You've got to be looking at companies with... Uh, with uh, capable and um, respected management, uh, skilled management, and uh, solid financial backing. Uh, companies with you know, enough money to, uh, to allow them to continue working. And then, when you look at the, the property quality, then, and then you have to take the deep dive into the value of the property, and that, uh, that requires a little bit more careful analysis. But starting with the right people, the right company, and hopefully the right projects. All right. So we've just heard from Keith Laskowski. He's the Vice President of Technical Services at Sandstorm Gold. He first walked us through his preliminary due diligence he does on evaluating resource projects. Then we dived into the tech transaction, which includes Mariana Resources' hot Madden project, which is very exciting. And then he shared advice with resource investors, such as yourself, on how you can conduct your own simple due diligence to benefit from investing in resource companies. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your time, Keith. Thank you.